Shalom. Shalom and welcome. Welcome to End Time Reflections. My name is Seminaya, if you're tuning in for the first time. And this is the 50th installment of this series. And in this 50th installment, I want to bring to mind shape and content. Shape and content. I could say structure or framework and what's inside. Shaping content, my brothers and sisters. I present the case of why this is important. There are those who would like to say set apartness is simple. All it is is this or that. But I say to you, my brothers and sisters, we are in spiritual warfare. It is not a simple battle. It is complex and it requires us to walk filled with the spirit of set apartness, the spirit of Yahuwah sent in Yahushua's name. But before I get into the case of shape and content, my brothers and sisters, let me say this, that the views expressed in these podcasts do not necessarily reflect the owners, management, and or shareholders of this media platform. With that said, my brothers and sisters, come and witness why shape and content is indeed important. By now, many of you have probably heard me speak often about Proverbs 4.23-27. through which reads, watch over your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the sources of life. Turn away from you a crooked mouth and put perverse lips far from you. Let your eyes look forward and your eyelids look straight before you. Consider the path of your feet and all your ways are established. Do not turn to the right or left. Turn your foot away from evil. My brothers and sisters, I can't stress enough that every living being on this planet will experience emotions, mental health, and spiritual state being tested and challenged as extreme humbling times ramp up. These words are to those drawn to all those drawn by the Almighty Father to Yahushua Mashiach. Anyone else is considered outside the court. There are some of you that probably remember me speaking often about how judgment begins at the house of Yahuwah. Some of you may be tired of me mentioning that. But each day we must walk in caution and wisdom. Each day we must seek to discern how we are to govern ourselves. We are not supposed to be walking around just word for word scripture. But our lifestyle should line up with set apart life, set apartness. The things we do must be reflective of the scriptures working in us and through us one towards another. How many among us have ever went into an apartment or a house and they all looked alike outside? Right now I am referencing the outside of the dwelling. It is hard to determine where are you supposed to go if all of the houses and apartments look alike. If all the structures resemble one another, it could be a bit of a challenge. I submit to you, my brothers and sisters, the house of Abba Yahuwah has many members. We do not all look alike, but we should be demonstrating set apartness. Believe it or not, once we face what we are physically and see what the one in the mirror resembles from the outside, then we must not stop there and begin to look on the inside, discovering what is inside of us, as well as those whom we come in contact. The days are here, my brothers and sisters, when we discover, when we will discover that in the many members under one body by Yahushua Mashiach, it is necessary to be mindful of the shape in the content, what we see outwardly and inwardly. Consider Romans 12, 3, 4, and 5. Say, For I say through the favor which has been given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he should, but think soberly, as the Almighty One has given to each measure of belief. For as we have many members in one body, but all members do not have the same function, and I submit to you they do not have the same shape. So we the many are one body and Messiah and members each one to another. 
each one of another. It would be wise to never take one another for granted, regardless of our shape, regardless of what our opinions may think the content is. Let us examine all that the Father, Yahuwah, has bestowed, has put on us and in us and through us. And let us look at what does that resemble. Consider Luke 9, 46 to 48, which reads, And a reasoning arose among them who might be the, who might be the greater of them. And Yahushua, having seen the reasoning of their heart, took a little child and placed him on his side. And he said to them, Whoever received this little child in my name receives me. And whoever receives me receives him who sent me. For he who is least among you all, he shall be great. Believe it or not, there will be many surprises ahead as we witness the Almighty Father work in us. As a set-apart nation awakens, so will it take shape. And we will witness the content of such as we gather together, as we grow in maturity and set-apartness. Who among us agree that Yasharal will be surprised in the coming days? Who among us will agree that there was a surprise during the day of Dawid or David when he killed Goliath? And I'm referencing 1 Samuel 17th chapter. Let me read it, verse 45 to 51. But Dawid said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of Yahuwah of hosts, the Almighty One of the armies of Yasharal, whom you have reproached. This day Yahuwah shall deliver you into my hand, and I shall strike you and take your head from you and give the carcasses of the camp of the Philistines today to the birds of heaven and the wild beasts of the earth, so that all earth know that the Almighty One is for Yasharal. And all this assembly know that Yahuwah does not save with sword and spear, for the battle belongs to Yahuwah, and he shall give you into our hands. And it came to be when the Philistines arose and came and drew near to meet Dawid, some would say David, and hurried, and they ran towards the army to meet the Philistines. They drew near to meet David, that David hurried and ran towards the army to meet the Philistines. So Dawid ran towards them. And he put his hand in his bag and took out a stone and slung it and struck the Philistine on his forehead so that the stone sank into his forehead and he fell on his face to the ground. Thus Dawid, David, was stronger than the Philistine with a sling and a stone and struck the Philistine and killed him. And there was no sword in the hand of Dawid. Then Dawid ran and stood over the Philistine, took his sword, drew it out of his sheath and killed him, cut off his head. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. My brothers and sisters, the story of David and Goliath. Now, some of you may wonder, what does this have to do with the subject, shape, and content? If you study the scripture, you will discover that Dawid was a young man. He wasn't tall and built with stature. He was a young man such that the armor didn't even fit him. And he didn't need the armor. He took a slingshot, a sling and a rock, and he slayed his enemy. He believed, he trusted, and all that he was taught. So the shape and content of his mind and spirit, by trusting the Almighty Father, by believing in him, he demonstrated the power and might to slay the enemy, whose shape was tall, whose content showed that he had muscles underneath his skin. He was a big man. I strongly encourage each of us not to underestimate one another. I strongly suggest that we do not base our fellowship and assembly depending on how one is shaped, their physical appearance. As end times ramp up, there will be tasks discovered Tasks that are ordered by the Almighty Father. And we will learn to acknowledge them and obey them. We will learn to describe their shape and content. The days are here to recognize, my brothers and sisters, 
Recognize what member will be placed where and for what purposes. The days ahead will prove to unveil the importance of each of us and what must be done. I believe that it is natural for our flesh to desire to be more important than another brother or sister or to be seen. But we must never forget the flesh war against the spirit. Let us in our judgment judge as the spirit of Yahushua would direct us, not because one appeared to be handsome or beautiful, not because one appeared to be lean, not base our judgment on the physical appearance, my brothers and sisters. But it's the function of that physical appearance. Are they demonstrating set of partners? Are they demonstrating life? And if so, what's driving them? What is the content of what's driving them? Is it the spirit of Yahuwah? Sin in Yahushua's name to teach and guide us? Is it the spirit of Yahuwah working through the scriptures, making them alive, influencing our action? It would be wise, my brothers and sisters, for us to recognize the importance of balance and what is expected in bringing a set-apart nation together. Just as a great puzzle has different pieces, and in order for it to present, be presented as a complete picture, each specific piece must be put in the right place, for they all have different shapes and different content. But when that puzzle is complete, we see the whole picture. So will it be with Yashara, my brothers and sisters. In these last days, my brothers, my sisters, my family, we will witness the shuffling of pieces to place us in the right position. Never forget we have a responsibility to recognize both shape and content in order to embrace the fullness of what is required, in order to know what picture the Almighty Father will present before the world. And before his children, as end times come closer and closer to an end, we will witness progress. My brothers and sisters, beauty have many faces and shapes. True set-apart beauty brings content of which can and do lead to praising Abba Yahuwah for his favor and giving us the ability to know what makes us complete? What shape do we bring to this big puzzle? What content is on this shape? What functions do we bring that encourages one another to draw closer to one another? The time is now to ask ourselves, what is really driving us? Are we being more influenced by looking like a Hebrew by the garments? How we dress? Do we think we're more set apart because we speak on things that reflect how we look more so than how the Almighty Father has opened our eyes and directed us to do? Are we vain? There's nothing wrong with caring for yourself, taking care of yourself, washing and cleaning and dressing conservative. But my brothers and sisters, believe it or not, there are many predators coming out as Yashara is awakened. There are those who would like to be seen, who would like to be recognized, trying to catch. In other words, trying to get a husband or husband, a wife, going about it all in the wrong way. Shaping content, my brothers and sisters. We must know the function that the Almighty Father is ordering us to complete. We, was, we must know what that shape and content, what that function is, what does it entail. Rise up, my brothers and sisters. I can't stress enough the need to vet and examine. And if we examine one in the mirror, we might say, oh, I'm really a hand. Oh. I'm really a back. I'm a foot. I'm an elbow. Through examining, we will discover our shape. Through examining, we will discover the true content 
that has been placed in us to complete the task that lies ahead. We must be mindful of the outward and the inward parts, my brothers and sisters. And I can't stress it enough. Be encouraged. Know this. It is important that we do not grow weary. For our redemption is coming soon. Sooner than most can imagine. And I say to you, my brothers and sisters, shaping content. The time is now to identify what is influencing us as we witness shape and content, as we witness the coming together of an awakening nation? On that note, I believe I said enough. But each day, my brothers and sisters, we must never forget what lies ahead. We must never forget the need to worship and obey, the need to identify what is set apart and what is not, the need to move forward and not be seduced by things that are wicked and evil pray my brothers and sisters study pray some more watch and seek to discern all that is needed all that is written discern what must be fulfilled let us identify those who wrongfully treat us different because of how we shape or because they are unable to discern the content within us. Let us pray, O Yashara. Balance will come. Love and joy will come. The day for shout hallelujah will come. Stay tuned, my brothers and sisters, for there is so much more to come. I believe that we will begin to identify the tasks that are assigned to us, individually and collectively. On that note, my brothers and sisters, shaping content. What do you see? What do you discern? What, are you, what is your response to the shape and content that you see before you? And can you make the tough decisions? In due season, time will tell. Be encouraged, my brothers and sisters. On that note, I say to you, shalom.